The CCRP Silver Club is sponsored by Sagicor, Digicel, NCB, Manpower and Maintenance Services Limited Group, and JNGI. Older people are important members of any society and therefore have the right to live in dignity in later life. Welcome to the CCRP Silver Club Series, a program that seeks to educate, entertain and improve the lives of persons 50 and over. I'm Dervan Malcolm. In today's program, we find out about the work of the CCRP, physiotherapy, and one woman's love for gardening. The Caribbean Community of Retired Persons, CCRP, is an important organization which encourages seniors to live life to the fullest. Let's hear more from founder Mrs. Jean Laurie Chin. Why did you decide to start this organization? Well, you know, Durvan, it was the 30th anniversary of our company, Procom. Uh, that was 12 years ago. And uh, I said, you know, Jamaica was so good to us, and in particular, my mentors. My mentors were all seniors. Firstly, my mother, then people like Wycliffe Bennett, people like Beth Jacobs, Eileen Calbreno. And so I said, let us start an organization. Let us make our legacy project for our 30th anniversary, a project to give back to Jamaica's seniors. How important is an organization such as this to our seniors? We did not know how important it would be, actually, but it has just grown. Our mission really is to celebrate our seniors, to ensure that they are protected, to ensure that they can give back to the society, because this is the repository of so much experience. Word got around, an insurance company came to us, a brokerage, Gallagher, and said, I hear you have an organization for seniors and we would like to offer a health plan. And in the first three months, they offered open enrollment. And we had a torrent of new members. We are now at 11,400 odd wow. new members from every single parish of Jamaica. So I would say we are serving a need. Additionally, you know, we have a lot of activities. We have tours. During COVID, we kept online every month. We had a Zoom activity, we have had concerts online, we have had spiritual interchange online. I believe from the feedback we've got from our members that it has become very important to them. What can you tell us with respect to becoming a member of CCRP? You have to be at least 50 years old, but there is talk now of moving the age down, so mm -hmm. more and on. <laughs> Our membership is spread across every level of Jamaica society. Uh, we have household workers, we have professionals, we have entrepreneurs, and that is the reason why we keep our fees very low. It costs only 2,500 to register, and then an annual renewal of 2,000. Jamaican dollars. We are trying to serve retired persons or persons planning to retire. We find that there are a lot of programs for younger people, but there are a few programs for older folks and they deserve to get that attention. We also have every year a Living Legacy Award event where we celebrate the achievements of our seniors. And this is why I have on my Jamaican <laughs> colors, actually. So, you know, Durvan, as we celebrate another year of independence, we must remember that we stand on the shoulders of our seniors. They're the ones who have sacrificed and built this country, and they deserve the care, protection, respect as a result of what they've given back to this country. What are some of the benefits of being a member of the CCRP? We have two plans, a major medical plan, and the Comprehensive Health Plan, which are underwritten by Sajikor. So thanks to Sajikor for that. It is very well used. For example, in the previous year, the claims totaled 1.1 billion. So this Ooh. is how valuable this plan is to our members. We also have 70 
discount partners. Mm -hmm. So once you get that little card, you pay 2,500, we now have a digital card that you can just have on your, or your phone, you show it, you show it to some pharmacies, you get 15% discount, some physiotherapists, 20% discounts, Fontana Pharmacy all over Jamaica, Quartz Optical, 15% discount. So it's a very valuable membership and the benefits are great. How can you be contacted at CCRP? Well, the first thing they can do is go to our website. Our website has all this information and it's at ccrponline.org. But we also have, apart from our head office here at 2 Phoenix Avenue, we have chapter offices in central Jamaica, in Manchester Plaza at Global Travel, courtesy of Mrs. Siaga Anderson, very kind lady. We have an office, a part-time desk, at the St. Anne Chamber of Commerce in Ocho Rios, organized by our convener, Mr. Pixley Irons. And we have a desk at the Unity Church of Montego Bay on Dome Street, courtesy of our convener, Dr. Norma Taylor. Ageism is a problem. And you know, you do have some younger people who are disregarding older folks and who are not respecting their experience. And so I think it is very important for us to underline their rights and protect them as they get older. There are various forms of elder abuse. Mm -hmm. And so for the past five years, our legal committee, uh, headed by Mrs. Gloria Langren and our board directors, Ambassador Alun Asamba and Mr. Peter Mays, they have been working with us to reach out to the Ministry of Labor and Social Security for them to create an Elderly Care and Protection Act, similar to the Child Care and Protection Act. And so we have been in touch with Minister Samuda. We have heard some positive responses and we are hoping and we are following up to ensure that those laws are put in place. Thank you, Jean, for that wealth of information. You're welcome. CCRP's Board of Directors have provided strong governance for the organization which is registered under the Charities Act. Executive Chair Jean Laurie Chin is grateful to Mrs. Vilma MacDonald, Ambassador Aluna Samba, Mrs. Patricia Reed Waugh, Dr. Owen James, Mr. Dennis Jones, Mr. Seturaman Kumaraswamy, Mr. Peter Mays, and Mr. Warren MacDonald. Many thanks to the PROCOM team members who manage the organization. After the break, a very important topic for seniors, physiotherapy. This segment is brought to you by the National Health Fund. Physical activity plays an important role in healthy aging and well-being. Physiotherapy can help seniors achieve this. Let's learn more about physiotherapy. Noel Brown is a physiotherapist at ProPhysio. Physiotherapy is a profession that deals with diseases and injuries as well as abnormalities in the muscles as well as the nerves, joints that affects our clients or generally everyone's ability to function. Function is a matter of can you sit, can you stand, can you feed yourself, can you don and doff your clothes. Some of the biggest issues that you'd find with seniors is as they get older, they genuinely tend to accept the aging process and the aches and pains that comes with aging. And as a result, they generally uh, tend to blame everything on aging and they slowly but surely start to reclude themselves from society tend to want to stay home, they don't want to interact with their friends anymore, just because of the hassle of having to get themselves together, to go outside and face the public sphere. We have a wide array of conditions that we actually do treat. Um, to be more specific, you find that one of the biggest issues that our, our elderly population faces is our fear of falling. And with the fear of falling, you're looking now at a, lot, a whole list of complications that can take place whether it be just the bruises and the damages from actually falling. And then from falling, you, know, you have the concussions, so the head injuries, um, hip injuries. We see a lot of fractures, um, implants, hip replacements, um, general reductions in the females as well. So you find a lot of broken bones, head concussions, vertigo issues as well. 
And then from there, there's a loss of balance. You find they're falling out of chairs, can't use the bathroom by themselves. A lot of stuff that you'd find that they would have generally been able to do before it becomes a lot more harder. And then you now the caregivers are the ones who genuinely have to be on them to get them to get things done. You find that persons who tend to do more or apply themselves more, they age a lot well than persons who try to recluse and stay away from a lot of activities. So you have two different spectrums, both aging is just, you have one spectrum that's actually accepting where they are and choosing to withdraw from society, and you have the others are still fighting and pushing. For the most traumatic ones, you have the persons who have broken bones, um, disrupted joints as a result of the fear of falling. You have the diabetes, the high blood pressures, the hypertensive clients that, you know, just not keeping up with the medications or dietary aspect gets poor and you find they're a lot more susceptible. If untreated, as well as many other conditions, you find that strokes is the next step. You have general neurological conditions. So Parkinson's, you find a lot of persons start to have the best, um, balance issues from Parkinson's, whether it's unsteady gates, the shaking and the, rhythm, the writhing in the hands as well. Um, you find a lot of those different conditions start to pop up. What generally tends to happen is that the burden of the conditions that they face, it, it takes a toll on the caregivers. And that's when you find now full-time nursing, um, doctors coming in, houses being made into hospices, they're taking them out for physiotherapy. And it's hard for you, the, the working class or the younger population to, to maintain all of these appointments. So persons, for argument's sake, they have a bad back. Lower back pain, okay. very common as well. You sit down for too long, we, even as younger persons will feel it as well. You start to feel this burning sensation in your back, you choose to ignore it. Time passes and it becomes a little bit more. And when you stand up, you have this little, you put your hand on your hip and you mm -hmm. take your time straightening up. Whether you're young or you're old, it happens to all of us. We assess them to find the problems, to plan our treatment. So whether it be mobilizing a stiff joint, whether you're arthritic, helping with more physical modalities or less physical modalities. So we have massages as one, we have stretches, we have strengthening. All of those look at the different factors of the musculoskeletal system. If there's neurological issues, now you're looking at balance and ability to coordinate, just you leaning forward and then getting up into standing. That's the coordination between different systems that your brain has to control. And we will break down all of those individual systems or components and plan our treatment and apply them to specific areas to get you overall to function. Get started as soon as possible. It doesn't hurt to, to get the consult and come in and find out what's going on. We might be able to pinpoint something that could add life to your ears. In our clinic, we cater to a wide range of persons right across the spectrum. So from newborns to adolescents to teenagers, young adults, adults and our goal in years personnel. Our goal is to find out what are those issues that you're having. Whether it's strengthening, we would strengthen you. If it is pain, we have acupuncture, we have dry needling, we have joint mobilizations. If something simple as mopping a floor, it takes a lot of endurance and muscle strength from your lower back muscles for argument's sake, even your shoulder muscles. And you'll find that if you're not as active as you once was, it now becomes a task to complete general things around the house that you weren't able to do before. We challenge you to get you to be able to just clean the house a lot easier or change your tire or run up and down the hill if you're into exercising or run around the track if you want to. It's all about finding the issues, whether it's a limitation from a disease or just general injuries, whether it's old sports injuries as well, just finding them, fixing them and getting them back to normal. So you can find us at Pro Physio. Uh, We're located at Midspring Mall, 134 Constant Spring Road, Kingston 8. After the break, we learn more about one woman's love for gardening. This segment is brought to you by Quartz. Gardening is a healthy, stimulating physical activity which older people can enjoy. In fact, doing this frequently can help prevent some illnesses. Audrey Hinchcliffe loves gardening and she invited us to take a peek into her beautiful garden. When I bought this place in 1990, it was a little old house that was damaged by hurricane and what have you. And I got a friend and we did our own landscaping. These are my, my favorite 
working spot because I don't allow anybody to trim these things. I do them myself. On a Saturday morning or any morning that I don't go to office, I walk around and I shape. I don't like these to be out of shape because that's what welcomes you to my front door. It is therapy for me and that's why I spend so much time um, with it. This is Japanese maple. It's been here for years. If you notice, I have loads and loads of roses. They are my favorite. A good shower of rain and you come through this driveway and they are just popping and greeting you. Any day I don't go to work, if I'm not in the kitchen, experimenting and baking, I'm out here with my plants. I like flowers, but I also like shrubs because there's greenery all the time. During um, COVID, one of the articles I wrote was Home Alone. It was the things that you can do while you're at home. When I'm home, I am constantly in motion. The thing about gardening, you're getting the exercise. You have to stand up, you have to push, you walk around. My favorite, favorite plant is desert rose. The leaves might fall off and so on, but in no time at all, it comes back. The plants that dominate the yard is Ixoria. So you're gonna see quite a bit of Ixoria with the different colors. Look at this beauty. When I walk around in the mornings and see things like that, I photograph them and I send greetings to my friends at work. My favorite long-standing plant is shrimp. I mean, it withstands the weather. These have been around for, I think I came and found them here. These ferns, and they grow and they die and they grow. As you can see, there are pots all around. I love pots because there's just something that they do um, to the garden. The dragon, this gives a pop of color. If you notice, I have a few of them around the place. Don't care how an area is dull, put a dragon plant there. Look at the different colors. This is um, frangipani, came from Hawaii. This is the yellow buttercup and it bloom all year round. These are my babies. Whenever they bloom, I just take photos. Look how much roses on one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when this comes out, can you imagine you passing this in the morning saying hello um, to you? You smell like perfume? This is my plan from my worker. Depending on how the sun or whatnot hits it, it takes on a completely different color. Look, you have to have a love for it. Gardening is not easy. Gardening is hard. And you have to keep the garden neat because this can run away very easily. I don't like an untidy garden. So if you notice, it is quite uniform. Telling you about how hibiscus propagates itself. You plant a pink, it propagates itself, and now you have a pink and white. I have a collection of hibiscus and these are triple hibiscus, but it's not blooming right now. Every time I go to a flower show, I find something unique and I buy. They always laugh at me and say my whole paycheck. But isn't this a beauty? I let them bloom, and then by Saturday morning now, I come out here and I cut it right down. Look at this. That is a triple hibiscus. All these palm trees on the inside, I didn't plant one of them. Birds carry the seed from the palm on the sidewalk and drop them inside in an even row. So this is my hangout spot. I'm 82 years old and I don't think age. I think of the next project because, you know, I notice people who are my same age or even younger what the inactivity does to them. And they said to me, but when are you going to slow down and what annoys me, people say, oh, you're going to work every day? But I have the good sense to stay home and work from home, like the height of COVID and so on. But I was more productive then because I published a second book during the COVID time. Not only do I do plants, but I also do vegetable garden. And right now, see, I have plummy tomato. Aki plants, look here, I'm getting wow. ready to pick now. Now come and meet my vegetable garden. See my cucumber? 
I have pepper, more cucumber, tomatoes, cabbage, and callaloo. So I don't only plant flowers, I plant vegetables. I'm trying Irish potato, but it's not doing very well. I got a pumpkin the other day. Coconut is mine. And of course, Chinese jimbilin. We've been picking it by the basket. This is East Indian mango. This property have so much fruit. Here's a sour sap tree. I don't buy sour sap when you come, you find some big ones. But as I said, gardening is hard. You have to love gardening because you spend all this money on plants and then they die if they are not cared for. If it's exotic, you might just find it here. Fiddly fig. This is a good tour of my garden. I welcome you like I welcome everybody else. And I'm telling you that I've just absolutely enjoy living here. Absolutely. And as my grandson used to say, Grandma Jungle. This is my jungle. Gardening is a good therapy for seniors. Gardening is a good therapy for anybody. Children should be taught how to garden. You know, to grow a little seed and to be able to eat how many tomatoes off it. This is something children can do. There's fruit trees. I make sure I plant my vegetable. And most of all, I have fun. I mean, it's just a fun thing for me. Like you guys been here today, I invite you to just enjoy my garden with me. I love my garden. That's it for this episode of the CCRP Silver Club series, where we keep you informed and educated about matters concerning you, our seniors. See you next week. The CCRP Silver Club is sponsored by Sagicor, Digicel, NCB, Manpower and Maintenance Services Limited Group, and JNGI.